better at chess nation what is going on so this will be I believe this is day six of our um daily 30 day puzzle challenge so um we're gonna go over maybe in one two and three today all right so let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna move me over here and I'm gonna enlarge myself because I know you guys like my beautiful face. Alright, so say there and there. Bam. Cool. So yeah, pretty much and let, actually let's just go over it here. So pretty much this rook right here is cutting off this row. So moving this rook up one forces the king to come down. And then you move that up. And the king is essentially has nowhere to go. So, check. Okay. So from here, the king has nowhere to go. It can't go here or here. Bec and here. Okay, so... Okay, well. Here and here, because of the king and the rook, or pawn. And right here, because of this rook. So, bringing that up. Checkmate. Alright, what else we got? Okay, so this one, um, I like this mate. Um, I've actually done this once in a game before. So as you can see, this bishop and queen are lined up together, and they're eyeing down this square right here, which has one defender, or two defenders, but really one. And the rook is the real defender here, because once the rook, you know, t takes the, um, you know, if you were to take it back with the bishop, oops, if you were to take it back with the bishop, the king will have to come there and... Um, you know, you never want to have just a king defending a, uh, a piece because you can easily line up two pieces there and then all of a sudden, you know, the king is not really protecting that square. So, you do that, the rook jumps up, and now this rook is pinned because of this bishop right here. So now we can move this rook down there. And that's checkmate. Alright, let's do another one. Let's keep the good times rolling. Okay, so this one, immediately what I see, okay, so this one, um, I don't, I don't pay attention enough in the, some games sometimes to really see this, and, you know, as you play more and practice puzzles more, your vision gets better. So, I'm still working on my vision. Um, so, but here's what I see. So, this queen's eyeing down that file and that diagonal. This bishop can come here. Putting the king in check. Now the king can't go here because of the queen. So the king will be forced here. Then you bring that bishop back here. And then the king will be forced there. And then that could... Actually, would that be a check? Yeah, that'll, this will be a check right here. And the king is forced to go here where you deliver a checkmate on this square. So here. 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 Checkmate. All right, let's keep it going. Okay. Mm. Okay, so immediately what I see is that. Then I have to go there, and then bam. So this one is similar to like the last one, right? So you deliver a check there. King has to go there, and then that's checkmate. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep the good times rolling. Oh, gosh. Okay, so th this one is simple. It might not look simple. It might look and be like, okay, well, what do I do here? Because um, you see this rook eyeing down against this queen. But remember how much space the queen takes up. So queen is taking up this much space. So what would happen if we move the queen there? Checkmate. Because now the queen is taking up this much space. So, and then there's not a piece on this file that, at least in this position right here, they can block that check. So, all right, let's keep it going. Keep the good times rolling. Um, so we'll go with, no, not a check? Okay. Hmm. Check. Check. Mate. All right, let's recap here. Okay, so, 
Um, so right now where this rook is, this king can't cross this file. The king can also not go here. Or here, right? So by delivering a check here, the king is going to tell him the square can't go to, which is right here. Then you want to deliver another check here. That blocks the rook from coming there. And it also gets the uh, king to, again, move down here. Because if the king goes down here, um, that's going to be a check. And the king go there. That'll be a check. It, it, it's just not going to be good for white. So um, white goes there. Checkmate. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so what we have here, okay, so this one is, okay, so this is a maiden too. So, so this, um, is that the F pawn? No, this is the G pawn. So this G pawn moved up. And so on either side of the board, the F and the G pawn, the F, the G, and the H pawn, they are, Okay, so starting off with the F-Pawn. The F-Pawn for both white and black is a weakness. So, you know, when the pawn is on F7 and when the pawn is on F2, it's a weakness. And the reason it's a weakness is because the only piece protecting that pawn is the king. So when that piece moves, like here, this square right here becomes a weakness. A even bigger weakness. A glaring weakness. And then when that piece moves, if it moves up one... But you still have the G pawn here, you know, you'll be all right. If you still have this G pawn and H pawn here, you can kind of be all right because any attack that comes in this way, you can just block with that. But see, this H pawn has moved up, so that's one. And then the computer decided to move up this G pawn right here, which means, you know, there, there's nothing but weaknesses right here. This whole thing is a weakness. There's nothing really protecting this square right here. So you jump here, that's check, and you jump to that square right there. Checkmate. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, this is fun. So I'm going to say move the king up. Mm, I'm going to say that. And I'm going to say that. Bam. Okay, so let's recap. Okay, so the reason I decided to move the king up is because I wanted to work my way to getting this type of this shield here, right? Because right here, right now, white cannot go to these two squares because of these two pawns. So by coming there, it's like, okay, now we have opposition, right? We're lined up directly in front of each other. So now, with this shield, remember, when this, when the kings are this close and a shield is there, white can't go anywhere. So this pawn stays right here, and since white decided to move that pawn up, because they didn't... Actually, that was white's only move. Like, once this king got here, white had nothing else to do except move that pawn up, which is going to be taken and put the king in check. And the king can't go to that square because of this pawn, so this is checkmate. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, so this one. Okay, so this pawn right here is very important because um, it's stopping the king from moving if... Um, I should put this. These pawns are guarding these squares, and this square in front of the king is blocked. So this the shield I like to talk about is there. So now you need to take, you know, with the pieces you have, if you look at setup, you have pieces that can take advantage of that shield. And that starts off by delivering check here with this rook. Because now the king moves over. So the king is going to rotate between these two squares, right? Um, it still can't go here, so the king is kind of stuck here. Now you get your queen, which is a lot more flexible than the rook was into the game. The queen delivered a check. This bishop comes here because it had to be blocked. And now this is where this pawn becomes really important because now you have a protector when you want to deliver a check with the king. Checkmate. So, okay. And, you know, just again with these puzzles, I mean, it's, um, I don't want to say this. You know, with the puzzles, it takes some time to see all this. Um, you know, I, I get to practice puzzles every day. I bought a chess.com um, membership, yearly membership. So having access to unlimited puzzles has helped out greatly. And then they also have theme puzzles and a lot of lessons that you can watch on here. So a lot of stuff that I want to cover. Um, for you guys, I'm gonna you know teach them um, as well as I can, 
and then I'm actually going to show you games and stuff that actually show this, or just different situations. So, so I plan on using Chess.com as a great resource. So, but if you guys have a chance to pay for a Chess.com membership, um, the diamond one is that one I have. It was hundred dollars a year. It is more than worth it. So we're going to deliver a check there, and then we're going to jump up here and see. There's that shield where the king can't cross over, right? Because the bishop's there, this pawn is here, blocking the king, so the king is stuck on this vertical right here. So, okay. Um, so I would think putting it there, king might jump there, and then you, hmm, oh, that's right. So put you put your rook here, the king is gonna jump to this square, that's the only square you can go to. Then you bring your knight there to deliver a check. And this knight is going to be at, um, attacking that square and protecting the knight on this square. And this rook is going to, that's going to be here, is going to create that shield right there where the king can't cross. So, one. Yep. And, you know, again, if this, you know, if this rook wasn't here or this was like a sacrifice or something, then you have this knight attacking the king and forking this rook. All right, let's do some more. Okay. So, so I see a few things here. So I see this knight can jump here, and with the knight jumping here, it's attacking this square and attacking the square it was just on. And actually, I think that's checkmate. Yeah, that is checkmate. Yeah. Because this queen's cutting off that and that diagonal right there. One, two, three, four. Those pieces are, I mean, black's pieces are blocking um, squares that the king can go to. So you just need to attack the king where it is while at the same time blocking off this square. Which, because you have this knight here as well, you know, this knight are protecting these dark squares right there. So that is checkmate. All right, let's keep it going. So I think we actually move the rook here. Because that's going to kick the king back. If we move that rook down, the king can go there. And then we're going to use this pawn to kind of deliver a check there. So I'm going to say that. Um, maybe we won't use the pawn. Maybe we'll actually do that. Actually, maybe that's this is what we do. Maybe we take there. Where is um, where's black going to go? Black can go there. And you just deliver a check there, so it might come back here. Then you bring that pawn up. So let's see. Um, check. Check. No, oh crap, crap. Mm -mm. I had it right, I just played the wrong move. So, okay. So let's redo that one. Okay, so um, this work is cutting off that. Um, this pawn is here, black can go here. I mean, black kid, you know, black can hang around this area. Moving the rook here keeps black on this area. And the thing is, it's like, if you were to just move this up immediately, black can move his king right there, and then it's just sitting there. So this right here is, I don't want to say barricade. But um, it's it's blocking you from getting the checkmate. So that's why you start off by taking this piece. Then you put them in check again. Take that piece. Then you leave that piece there. Because, you know, again, like, black cannot go anywhere now. Black is... Can't go there. And can't go there. And one, two, three. That shield in front of the king is there. So now this pawn can come in and deliver checkmate. Alright, guys. We'll do one more. Okay, so this one is a smothered mate. So a smothered mate is when, you know, smothered mate sometimes can be easier to show than to explain, but essentially it's when the king is trapped in its position and one piece is delivering the check. Well, no, actually, that's not a good example. It's when the king is trapped in a very close position like so he, he, here's this mother mate for this one so this bishop is backing up this queen so this queen is going to go there this rook has to take because um the king the king can't take because of the bishop then this knight is going to come here 
this king is going to get checkmated by the knight. So you essentially are trying to get your opponent's pieces to crowd around the king, to smother them almost, at least with space. You know, you take away all the space around the king and then you use that piece to deliver a checkmate. So let me show you guys. So that rook comes there. So now all these pieces around the king are smothering the king. They're sucking away the space that the king had before. And then you deliver the checkmate with the knight. Where does the king go? Nowhere. This is a smothered mate. Okay, guys. So that is what I have for you today. Uh, this one was probably a little bit shorter than the other ones. But um, I hope this one helped. We're going to do one more video on um, the different mating patterns. And then I'm going to start a different series. It's kind of going to show some tactics and stuff. On, and it's some of the stuff I'm going to show you is going to be on videos that I'm going to make later. So, but it's easy enough for it where I put it out now in just a small puzzle video. You can guys can kind of see it and understand it. So, but that's what I have for you guys today. Please like the video. Please share the video. Comment below on your thoughts on the video if you liked it. Great. Tell me what you liked about it. If you didn't like it, you know, constructive criticism is good because it only helps us get better. Um, what else? Oh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So I do plan on putting out 30 days worth of puzzle videos to help you guys. So uh, with that being said, that is the end of this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.